Hello, everybody. Uh, here is our very first read, uh, re big reading lesson. Um, it's good to talk to all of you today. Uh, but our, for our first story, we're going to be doing A Nancy Goes Fishing. Now, I know we already finished our big folktale unit um, quite, a, quite, quite a long time ago. Um, but all week, we're going to be um, kind of reviewing our summarizing of a fiction story, be able to do a plot summary. Um, and so I thought, you know, this is this is actually something I was already planning on doing. We were going to spend a week just practicing this skill once again. And I thought, you know, this would be a really fun way for us to um, just get, get used to this new style of teaching and learning. Um, and I also wanted just to pick a book that we we're kind of familiar with. I know uh, Anansi was a really favorite character of ours while we were doing our big folktale unit. Um, some of you may have even read this book on Epic. Um, and you're going to see with all of these reading lessons, really for pretty much all of them, I'm going to be using books off of Epic. So if you ever want to go back and reread these books afterwards, please do. I really invite you to do that. Um, you know, a really fun part about reading is going back and rereading books that you enjoy. Um, books that, um, yeah, that you, that you, that you, that you liked reading or like listening to me read. Um, so you can go back and get even more of them, um, reading them again for, um, a second or third or fourth time. Um, just read as much as you can. But so this book is called Anansi Goes Fishing. It's by Eric A. Kimmel. And it's illustrated by Janet Stevens. Uh, quick blurb, Anansi the spider decides to trick turtle into catching a fish for him to eat. Now, if you remember with folk tales, a lot of the times there was a trickster, um, and in these, Anansi, Anansi is the trickster, um, always trying to do something and have people do something for him. Um, you know, a lot of times when I think about Anansi, a character trait for him is, you know, he is smart. He definitely uses his brains and his wits, but also sometimes I think he's a little lazy because he's always wanting people to do things for him. So he's always trying to outsmart them. Um, you know, and a really big common theme or lesson for Anansi always was... Um, you know, it's better to be smart than to be always trying to just use your strength and strength and strong and being big and powerful. Because sometimes that can be a message. It's always best to be strong and powerful. But Anansi's stories really were to try to show, you know what, sometimes it's better to use brain than brawn. Um, brain just meaning, you, you know, using your smarts. Brawn mean using your strength. Um, now, as we're reading this story today, we are going to be focusing on this skill. Uh, you can read it with me at I Can Recount. Ready? I can recount the plot of a story and use key events to explain the central message, lesson, or moral. So recount really means describe. Um, and I have the word retell there because that's another way you could say it. But the word describe is a much, much better way to, uh, to explain that. Because um, what you're trying to do is you're trying to tell the plot of a story. Like basically the main idea of the story. And... Retell means you're going to retell, you're going to tell as much as you can. A recount though is you really are only telling the most important things, the very important things, which are the key events. And we're going to use all of that to then really explain what's the central message, lesson, or moral. What is that big takeaway? What are you supposed to learn from this story? I'm going to go back to the book quick so it doesn't close out on me. If I stay out too long, it will sign me out. Oof. I'm good. Um, I've been doing a lot of practicing of these lessons before I actually done. You know, in all these lessons, you're going to hear me making mistakes, hopefully not too many. Um, even though somebody as perfect as me, I'm really not. Um, I, I, you'll definitely hear some mistakes from me. But so that's our big goal. And we're going to be using this. Somebody wanted, but so then. So I, I know this is something that we are all very, very used to. Um, it's, you know, our summarizing fiction text. Um, in this column, key information, this column is the notes. Somebody, who is the main character in the story? Wanted, what is the main character's goal? But, what is the conflict or problem? Remember, conflict it means the same thing as problem. Getting in the way of the character's goal. So, how did the character try to solve the problem? Then, what was the resolution? So we have this whole section right over here then. Somebody, the character, wanted, but so then. Um, and then down below, you're going to take all this information up here, and then you are going to do a brand new summary right down there. Um, and, well, I shouldn't say brand new summary. But you're going to do a summary paragraph right there. So you're going to take all of the information from this. And then you're just going to rewrite it, though, in paragraph form there. Back to the book quick. Got to do this. It's, it signs me out really fast. 
Um, but so as I'm reading the book today, I'm going to be going back and forth, um, just kind of reflecting on these big highlights, these big key events of the story, um, trying to answer these questions. Um, as I'm doing it, you know, usually I would be asking all of you for the, for the ideas and I would kind of guide and coach and model, um, try not to give it too much away. Uh, this I'm going to be giving other way, but really I'll, I'll do, I'll pause and I want you to think and I'll tell you to stop before I try to give you too much just to have you all reflect and think. But more so, this is going to be a big model for you as you're doing your own. Back to the book and I can explain this next part. So, um, for your reading lesson for today, you are going to be reading after I'm done, after you're done listening to me reading, watching this video, you are going to read your own Kids A to Z book that I'm going to assign to you. Um, you're, you're going to, you're going to listen, you're going to, um, read that book. You're going to have a quiz to do, and then you're going to have a summary sheet to do. So some similar kinds of things, use things that you'll be used to that we've done in class. You'll have your kids A to Z book to read and you'll do the quiz just to practice your, practice your comprehension. But then you, you'll do your summary sheet about that kids A to Z book. Um, that way you won't have to go find your own book. Um, there won't be any confusion. It'll hopefully make the whole thing just a little bit smoother for you. So once again, for your assignment, you're going to be reading the kids A to Z book that I assigned to you. Read it a couple times. Um, do the summary sheet somebody wanted, but so then, and then you'll do the quiz as well. And again, just I really want you thinking as I'm reading about these big key events, really thinking about all of these parts. So one of the first a couple of first big things is who's the main character and what's their goal and what's their conflict or problem, just as we get started. So let's see here. So, yep, so the story is Anansi Goes Fishing by Eric A. Kimmel, illustrated by Janet Stevens. One fine afternoon, Anansi the spider was walking by the river when he saw his friend Turtle coming toward him, carrying a large fish. Anansi loved to eat fish, though he was much too lazy to catch them himself. Where did you get that fish? he asked Turtle. So right away, I'm already thinking, um, character, Anansi. Now, there's an, it, says, it says Anansi and Turtle, but Anansi is the main character. You, pretty much every time you will only be writing one character here, maybe two, if they're like partners or like they're teaming up to do it, but you are talking about the main character. So Anansi wanted, uh, I'm pretty sure it's, he wants, he wants a fish. Uh, no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to fill out my sheet until I'm all the way done, that way I know I'm going to be, I, I really am getting the key events and the main parts. And that's what I want you to do too. Wait to fill out your sheet until you are done reading. But then you're going to go back into the book to reread things when you need to. Well, I caught it today when I went fishing, Turtle replied. I want to learn to catch fish too, Anansi said. Will you teach me? Certainly, said Turtle. Meet me by the river tomorrow. We will go fishing together. Two can do twice the work of one, which is a great lesson in itself. But Anansi did not attend to do any work at all. Turtle is slow and stupid, he said to himself. I will trick him into doing all the work. Then I will take the fish for myself. But Turtle was not as st stupid as Anansi thought. Early the next morning, Turtle arrived. Are you ready to get started, Anansi, he asked. Yes, Anansi said. I've been waiting a long time. I want to learn to catch fish as well as you do. A great illustration here. You can see um, Turtle brought a, long cha a lawn chair strapped to his back. Um, and it looks like a bunch of fishing line. You can see Anansi didn't bring anything. First, we make a net, said Turtle. Net making is hard work. When I do it myself, I work and get tired. But since there are two of us, we can share the task. One of us can work while the other gets tired. Well, I don't want to get tired, Anansi said. I'll make the net. You can get tired. All right, said Turtle. He showed Anansi how to weave a net. Then he lay down on the riverbank. This is hard work, Anansi said. I know, said Turtle, yawning. I'm getting very tired. Anansi worked all day weaving the net. The harder he worked, the more tired Turtle grew. Turtle yawned and stretched, and finally he went to sleep. After many hours, the net was done. Wake up, Turtle, Anansi said. The net is finished. Turtle rubbed his eyes. The, night, the net is strong and light. You are a fine net maker, Anansi. 
I know you worked hard because I am very tired. I am so tired I have to go home and sleep. Meet me here tomorrow. We will catch fish then. <laughs> so, um, now usually a Nazi is the one who's doing all the tricking. Um, but what he didn't realize is that Turtle also is a very smart and clever creature as well. And so he has just tricked a Nazi into making that net. Now I hope you're thinking to yourself, okay, so who's the main character? 